Podcast City Network. Good evening, everyone. You're listening to another episode of the Deathmatch Russell Podcast. And tonight, we're going to have on the line female pro wrestler Davian Devine, Devine. And uh, we're going to be talking to her about her upcoming match, triple threat match at H2O, debut of the women's pro wrestling. Anything we can do, we can do better. Women's event. Let's talk to her about her triple threat match and much more. Tune in right now, fans. Well, good evening, D- uh, Davian. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Just getting ready for this this Saturday's big event. It's going to be fun. Women's yeah, card. It's going to be a blast. It, Very excited. It is, because there's a lot of awesome talent that's coming in. We're having Randy West. We're having Amazing Maria coming in. I like two, you know, they're known for the hardcore and the deathmatch scene. So it's really cool to see them come to the East Coast for the first time. Absolutely. Too. But you're going to be entering a three-way dance, triple threat. I am. And it is going to be against Catrude and Willow Nightingale. Right. That's right. So what are you looking for? Well, I'm sure you've wrestled them in the past, I'm sure, right? I have. I okay. have wrestled Catrude. It's been a while since I wrestled Willow. Yeah. Um, so I'm very excited to yeah. step in the ring with her again. Yeah. Um, but I've never wrestled them both at the same time. Well, so it should be interesting. <laughs> wow. You know, like three way. Well, it's always interesting. But you know, you know their tactics. You know, you know what they. I do. So, I do. so you have to self pull some new stuff out of the hat. You know, and uh, just try. You know. Exactly. Exactly. Win the victory. Have... Win the victory over them and us fans as well. That's what I want to try and do. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> because. Uh, you know, you come from New England area. You know, I looked at your your. Uh, I've been studying some stuff here in you know New England area and a lot of different promotions that you've been in. <clears throat> and it seems like you're oh, busy. You. you are busy. I, I tend to be pretty busy. Yeah, and I like to keep it that way. So, <laughs> yes, yes. I've yes. been venturing more into the New Jersey area mm-hmm. the past uh, few months. Right. Um, so I'm happy to be heading back down there. That's awesome. That's awesome. No snow, thank God. You know, knock on wood. Yeah. Knock on wood. Not knock on wood. We haven't had it yet. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So um, so uh, what? Else? Well, I'll, we'll plug events after. But so, how did you start? Who's trained you? I started with Brian Fury at the New England Pro Wrestling Academy. Okay. And who else? Anybody else, or just? Um, Warbeard Hansen, yeah. um, used to train there as well, um, and now I train with, uh, the Kingdom mm-hmm. at the XWA Kingdom School. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Um, so I've been with them for about a year, yeah. but, uh, I give all the credit, really, to Fury yeah. to, uh, for building the foundation with me. Right, right. Growing up, growing up wrestling, who was your inspirations? Who were your, uh... Uh, my... 
So I get made fun of for this all the time. Yeah. Uh, I actually just had this conversation at, at dinner on Saturday. My favorite wrestler of all time is Randy Orton. Okay. Um, like, yeah. I don't know. I just drew, I just drew to him, and I, I think, like, I model myself a lot after him. Right. Um, as far as, like, females go... Uh, there's Phoenix was a big one. I, I was going to say there's a lot of females nowadays that I'm sure you're... There is. Yes. There is. <laughs> you know. Um, Best Phoenix and Trish Stratus and Mickey James, mm-hmm. they were my top three. Yeah. Um, but for for men, like, Randy, like, leaps and bounds above everybody. Yeah. Um, like, it's like John Cena was up there. We really like John Cena. Yeah. But uh, Randy Orton was in the first wrestling match I ever saw. Oh, cool. Uh, it was Randy Orton versus Christian on a Sunday Night Heat. And I just happened to be walking by the TV, and, like, I don't know, he just drew me in. Mm-hmm. And at that point, like, mm-hmm. I was hooked. I remember, when I, I remember when I saw Randy Orton at the uh, at the Hammerstein Ballroom for, uh, you know, ECW's One Night mm-hmm. Stand 2. Oh, my God, he was, like, something else, you know? Like, to see him close in person, like, that was, like, really cool, you know? Yeah. Up and close in the ring action, you know? I think I was, like, what, sixth row back? You know, but you can see everything going on to see him. Yeah, and, I just, I just yeah. love him. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I, I was at dinner on Saturday, and they're like, "Oh, you like seeing the same match over and over again?" And I was like, "I don't even care. Everything he does is fantastic. He just, I think it's great." And if, like, yeah, and you he, know, yeah, and he, he knows who he is, and that's that's just what he does. He does, <laughs> he does, and he's probably done more nowadays than he has in the past. You know, who knows? Exactly. <laughs> you know, the, the Hell in a Cell storyline with Jeff Hardy with he, the whole ear thing is yes. so absolutely disgusting. Right, but like it, it kind of takes a lot, like for me, yeah, to be a fan watching wrestling, yeah, and to like have moments. Mm-hmm. in wrestling that like actually evoke emotion from me and like oh my god those moments were just so disgusting mm-hmm. and like just so brutal yeah. and i just i'm like it's been a while since I, there has been like that much emotion evoked from me like just sitting and watching wwe so yeah yeah um that's why he's my favorite mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah but now who else who else have you seen like like now the current you know like who do you who, um, like current, there's so many I know. There's so many. There's a lot. There's a lot out there. Um, but we yeah. know the females. Maya Kim, come on, you know, like big shout out to her. You know, I want to say that she's uh, gonna make her make her name known. You know. Yeah. Um, Which is... I think. Um, so I would say mm-hmm. one of my mentors, um, who I really look up to, Alicia Edwards. Mm-hmm. Um, absolutely fantastic. Like. From day one, since I started wrestling, she took me under her wing. And, like, just the best person and such an amazing wrestler. I'm so happy she's finally getting her shot at Impact because Mm -hmm. she's so good. She's so good on the microphone. She's so good in the ring. She's so so tiny, but she can fight like no other. Mm -hmm. So she's definitely one of my inspirations. Um, Yeah. I'm trying to think um, who else nowadays. I don't know. I don't know why I'm, like, completely blanking. <laughs> yeah, there's just um, so many people. There's just so many. It's just amazing. There's so I know. much. Uh, I know. There's, like, so much content yeah. out there. Mm-hmm. You can get a little bit of everything from everybody. Yeah. Uh, like, it doesn't even matter, like, if they're on TV. Like, it's just the independent scene is so mm-hmm. crazy, and there's so many ways. I know. I know. And that's why I, that's why I reached out to you. I was like, you know what? This is what I like about indie wrestling. We, you know, we support each other. You know, we support the wrestlers. And, you know, we pick who we really like in the business and who moves on forward. And it's great. You know, it's really Now's the time for wrestling again, you know? We love it. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a great time to be involved in wrestling, and especially women's wrestling, because it's picked up so much. It really has. It really has. I mean, I know they have, uh, what, Shine, um, Shimmer, you know? Mm -hmm. Shine and Shimmer. Um, My favorite promotion to be a part of is uh, Women's Wrestling Revolution, WWR. Mm -hmm. Um, We just had probably our biggest show, um, Mm -hmm. the Day of Evolution in Long Island. Oh, also, I cannot forget about the... um, uh, uh, the Madman P- Pondo promotion also is a good one, too. Yes. That's an awesome one, too. <clears throat> um, yeah, so 
Women's wrestling is popping right now. It is. It is. We need to see more of it. We need more of it. We need <laughs> need more of it on the East Coast, West Coast, you know, all over. You know, all over the world, you know? Absolutely. I mean, glad that this is coming to our area. We need some wrestling, you know? We need, like, up in that area of Williamstown, New Jersey, need some women's wrestling. It's been a while. Like... They, you know, Matt Tremont runs a lot of shows out of there, and it's like, wow, this is perfect, mm-hmm. perfect opportunity for a women's promotion to start launching a new company, and we'll see where it goes. And it's, hopefully, it's going to stay forever and be something new, you know, that fans want to draw to and come every week, week to, you know. Absolutely. Mix it up, gotta mix it up, you know. You have to. <laughs> I know, I know. But yeah, what what? Sh- I was gonna say so. Uh, so you so you're ready for your match against the all three, all two. Excuse me, <laughs> well three. Yes, you'll be in the ring of course. There's, there's three in there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So. Yes. Yeah. I'm 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 ready to be me. Yeah. You know, against the other two. <laughs> yes, 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 and win the victory over us and them, and go to town. You know, and take yeah, it. Yeah, that that is the plan. Mm. Is to go in there and. Kicks mask. Mm-hmm. So can I swear? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to swear. You could. Hey, <laughs> okay. my, what's my podcast? Death. So yes, you could curse. Okay, okay. I'm I, not. I'm I not censoring anything. Mindful. Beep. I try to no. be mindful of young years, if there is. Oh, there's tons of young years and a lot of years. <laughs> there's tons of young years. We're live right now. This podcast is actually live. So is that? Oh awesome? my god. Okay. All right. So, so, so there's that's awesome. Well, I'm glad that you're able to listen to this podcast. Yeah. 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 Yeah
<laughs> yeah. I'm excited for it. I know. Maria's really a, is a beast of wrestling. You know, she's dominating the scene. Like, she she needs to get to WWE. I know she's been in the works for training, you know, for NXT. Mm-hmm. Hopefully she gets past that and does it, you know? Yeah, that would be really cool. She's a beast. Needs to come back off the deathmatch scene and, you know, serious wrestle, you know? I'm, yeah. Yeah, because you can't do that for the rest of your life. <laughs> if you want to be... No, but she seems to enjoy it. She's she does. It. She does. So, you know? I mean, she loves it with shellac. Come on. You know, they always get somewhere with it. You know, a bar fighter or someplace. You know, it's great. The no, ro- no ring r- matches. It's crazy. You know? Yeah. Not my cup of tea, but... No, no, it's a lot of other people's... It's like mine, you know, come on. But we love it. We just love this sight of blood, you know? Yeah. But you don't know on Saturday, it might be a little gory with uh, Kim, um, Brandy, and uh, Maria, you know? That's true. That's I mean, true. Cause I, they're... Just hope, I just hope I'm not involved. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or you could throw me in there, right? <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. I'll All right. just... Pull you in front of me. Push, push me in the right. Push me into the ring, right, and they get yeah. ejected out of the building. I have a big scar on my forehead that I don't need any worse. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. You had a blood, a blood, blood from a match. Which one was that? I did. I wrestled Hudson Envy at yeah. Battle Club Pro mm-hmm. um, in June. Yeah. And um, I got hit with a chair. <sighs> Oh. Right above my left eye. Uh, chair shots aren't always the the fun ones. <laughs> yeah, no, it was like the foot of a chair. It yeah. like, wasn't a folding chair. Right. So, yeah, 15 stitches later, but I still won. There you go. I have a really, really cool, like, Harry Potter looking scar in my head now. So. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. I'm not a big Harry Potter, Potter fan, but my nephews are. Oh, no, are. I've only seen the first one. I know, I'm not a. That's literally all <laughs> my nieces and nephews, they're all into that, not me, you know. So. Yeah. I have a t shirt designed in the works of the Scarface movie poster. Okay. With my face on it. Yeah. Oh, cool. And the font will obviously buy, be in my name. Yeah. So. Oh, sweet. I, you know, just run with it. Yeah. Run with what you got. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I cannot wait till I sponsor Collar and Elbow pretty soon. That's coming in the works. Oh, That's, nice. I know. So, yes, I'll help you out there. How's that? Woo. That sounds good. Because I could ref- recommend people. And that's the way they want business, you know? So oh, cool. I know, I know. I'll let you know when that comes. And, well, talk business after, folks. That's nothing. Yeah. To, buy t-shirts from us. Come on, just support our product. We have t-shirts, we have this, we have that. Come on, everybody has stuff. You know, autographs, 8 by, No, I don't have any 8 by 10s <laughs> <laughs> I have plenty. There you go. That works. For the kids that have signed and people and, you know, merch. It's great. Put a smile on somebody's face at the end of the day. Take a picture, exactly. you know. You guys do go through a lot, and it's fun. It's, you know, it's what you do. Wrestle, you know. <laughs> <laughs> besides your not, besides our nine to five jobs, you know. What do we do on the weekends? Go to see wrestling. Come on, go support you people. You know. I mean, we wouldn't be able to do it without the support of fans. No, so. no, yeah, it's like a mutual uh-huh. admiration. <laughs> it is, and then you be be get a good friendship out of friends, and it's really awesome. It's awesome, you know. Big circle of friends you meet through it through wrestling. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. Like people who just like go to shows and then like make some of their closest friends mm-hmm. there. Yeah, it's like me. You know, I've been going to what, since, well, nine years old, I've been a fan of wrestling, but then I got, like, friends that were in the business, and I was like, you know what? I could do a podcast. Come on. This is easy. Talk to people. It's fun. It's fun. It's something to kill my time on the weekend, you know, because I really don't go out and drink like I used to and party and this and that, you know? It's like, just take it easy and have fun with podcasts. Talk to people. It's really interesting. I mean, I just had, I just had a, lit, like, one of the really coolest inter- Interviews this past uh, a couple days ago with uh, J.J. McGuire. The he wrote all the WWF music from back in the day. Oh wow! Yeah, he did a lot, and he was also he did the Thunder in Paradise TV show th- too, which was really cool. Isn't that awesome? Wow. I know it's it's fun. You can, like dig out people who who, you know, it's really awesome. And I have a whole bunch of other. Really cool. I know I'm working on some really good ones. Come Tito Santana, hopefully in December. So, I can't wait. Nice. That's exciting. That's fun, I know. 
Tito's a great one who's wrestled in New Jersey so many years, and you know, it's just great to hear his voice. And the last time I saw him was in Chicago. I mean, at the t-shirt shop there, the uh, Pro Wrestling Tea Shop. I can't remember what year that was, but yeah, it was fun to see his face again. Coco Beware was there. My friend just did an interview on his podcast with Coco. I thought that was pretty cool. Wow, that's exciting. It is. Probably a lot of cool stories. Oh, lots of stories. But he actually had, in a couple of days before, he, my friend just had Hillbilly Jim on his podcast. And Hillbilly Jim actually played on guitar his theme song. Wow! Like, cause he, cause he's a, yeah, cause he plays in a band. So I'm like, this is awesome. He got like a lot of reviews from that. It's crazy. But I don't play music. I just play whatever. <laughs> <laughs> listen to, I listen to whatever you want me to listen to. You know, I love it all. Love alternative. Love your old classics. You know, '90s, '80s. You name it. You know. What's your I, yeah. what, what's your favorite current band right now? My oh, current. I listen to country. Country, yeah. I do. My favorite artist. Um, either I will say Brian I'll say Garth Brooks. Brooks. I'll say Garth Brooks because I like Garth Brooks. I think, okay, Garth Brooks right. is a legend. Yes, absolute legend. Yeah. Um, but my my favorite is Luke Bryan or mm -hmm. Chase Rice. Those okay. are my top two. Awesome. Awesome. What about alter yeah. what about alternative? Anything alternative? Alternative? Yeah. Uh, that would be probably like back in the day for oh. me, like oh. teenage years when yeah. I went through like yes my little punk rock phase. Right. Um, Nirvana probably to Nirvana. Um, Offspring was yeah. a big one. Um. I went through like a like a metal phase where yeah. like Bullet for My Valentine was a big one. Yeah, yeah. Um, Breaking Benjamin, mm -hmm. really like them. Yeah. Um, I mean, I like a little bit of everything, but like country is my number one. Yeah, if you had to pick right now, I'll tell you what. There's this band that kicks ass, Greta Greta Van Greta Vet or Vet. They're awesome. They sound like Led Led Zeppelin. Oh, okay. Yeah. They uh, when the curtain falls. That's like my that's my ringtone. It's really cool, but it, it, they sound so much like them. I actually saw a cover band one time. I went up to Colorado on a road on a you know with my cousins. We went camping to a campground, and they actually played in the mountains. It was really awesome. The le le ladies, you know, the lesbian band. Oh my god, they kicked ass with it. It was awesome. Oh wow! I know, and they play I think in New York all the time. It's crazy. I need to go see them at concert sometime again. Would love to. I just found my CD with them autographing it. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is where that went. Yeah. I had a picture, but I don't yeah. know where that went to. I didn't get a chance to go to a concert this summer, and I'm kind of bummed. But... Yeah. I know. I didn't really do any concerts this year. You know, I usually go to like Bon Jovi or something, you know. I go somewhere. So many concerts, you know. Can't go be at everything. Got to be at wrestling, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. I'd like to be elsewhere. Yeah. <laughs> like, you gotta fulfill the commitment. Yeah. So. Yeah, what do you, so what do you have planned for, uh, so yeah, all right, well let's, well, let's just talk about it. What the heck, what do you got, what do you got lined up for yourself after the H2O show? So, after H2O, I have, um... There's a local promotion in Western Mass, mm -hmm. uh, Pioneer Valley Pro Wrestling. Yeah. On the, uh, the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I am back in New York for yeah. Warriors of Wrestling. Ooh, that's not too far for me. Ooh, I might have to... Yeah, I was just there on, uh, on Saturday. Yeah. Didn't... Their intergender warfare. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I won the number one contendership. Congratulations. For the No Limits Championship. Congratulations. Um, so I'll be wrestling yeah. Isaiah Wolf for yeah. the No Limits Championship. Wow. Congratulations um, for that. On the first. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Um, and then yeah. I believe I have WWR coming up mm -hmm. after that. Yeah. But the, uh, December date hasn't been solidified. Right. Um, but I I purposely kept my schedule light for November and December. Yeah, because you want to spend time I with the... my, I hurt my shoulder. Oh. Um, yeah. 
So I'm trying to get that back to 100%. Yeah. To really amp up in the new year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I know. 2019 is going to be an awesome year for wrestling. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. Um, keep, that, just that keep my, is, keep my uh, eyes peeled. You never know where you'll be. WrestleMania weekend's coming right around the corner too. It's like you know. It is. I have already been uh, taking some bookings for WrestleMania. Sweet. Week. So sweet. Yeah, that'll be exciting. Probably mm-hmm. will be announced. You know, yeah. in a couple months. Yeah. Um. So I'm very excited. I was in New Orleans last year. Yeah. Um, which was my first WrestleMania week. Mm-hmm. Um, was really really cool. Um, so hoping. I only had one show, yeah. but I hope to have, you know, a much more jam-packed schedule this year. Right, right. You never know. You never know. There's so much, there's so many promotions running this WrestleMania weekend. I'm sure you saw, you know. Yeah. I, it's kind of crazy to believe that we're already here and talking about WrestleMania. I know. <laughs> I'm like, I, oh, my God. It feels like it was just yesterday. It before. was. I remember WrestleMania when I was WrestleMania 5 when I was a kid. <laughs> I always tell that story to everybody. Everybody listens to my story. When I was a kid, I, my dad took me to WrestleMania Five, sat in the nosebleeds, and uh, sat by Jess, uh, five rows away from Gorilla Monsoon and Jesse the Body, holding my mega, wow. holding my mega powers of fluorescent sign, and hearing the <laughs> hearing the thumps of the ring was great. It really was. When you know, as a kid, I'll never forget that. Still have the ticket to this day. Has that. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I know, right? And I actually had Marty Jannetty sign it for me, you know, at a local show. Oh, that's awesome. I know. I was like, you know, I'll have somebody sign it, you know. Even though you lost, but it was a, it was an era, you know. Of, exactly. Of the rockers, Marty Jannetty and Shawn Michaels, you know. Two of my favorite people, you know. It was great. That was a great yeah. duel back in the day. Back in the day, I still look at my little figure here, you know, those little... Plastic, uh, thick toy guys, you know, wrestlers. <laughs> when my nephew picks it up and runs around the house with it. <laughs> my my nephew has just started to like wrestling. Yeah. And it's amazing. It's the best thing ever. You know what? But... I have never taken these kids to wrestling yet. <laughs> they don't know. Oh, really? They don't know anything about my, my death. I don't talk about the death. I don't talk about that yeah. around, you know, they don't, they don't, they see my stuff on my sh- shelf, but they don't know what it is. You know, like my collection of... Trinkets, this and that, you know, of all the objects and things. But no, they've never. I've never taken them. I, one of these days, I will. One of these days, I'll take them. They'll get it. I, I took my nephew to a WWE house show yeah. or live event. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, for Christmas. Yeah. And he loved it. Right. He thought it was the best thing ever. I'm number one on in his book. So. Uh oh. So now you gotta. That. Now you gotta. Oh uh, man, now you gotta start getting the stuff for him. Uh oh. <laughs> Stock I know. Oh my God, he's so spoiled. He, I already got him two rings. Yeah. He has so many figures. He has so many title belts. Yeah. Trade cards. Like, the works. He's so spoiled. The works. He's so spoiled. But then he'll he'll butter me up and tell him, tell me yeah. I'm his favorite wrestler. <laughs> Oh, and, that's so cute. Know, that's so that's cute. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And then I'm getting him a toy. Yeah. He, he knows how to work me. That's it. That's what, you know, that's what, <laughs> that's what we love about being like, you know, uncles and aunts and it's great, you know, we just get spoiled. We'd spoil yep. them, <laughs> spoil them and they love it. You know, my, my, my little nephews, man, I'll tell you what, they, they're into, they, they just bought like one of those bop it toy dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> they get all the anger out, you know, all their frustrations. They love it. They love it, but then you have my little niece that she's a craft. She's really into crafts and cooking, which is really awesome. Oh, nice! I know, I know, and she plays piano. She, with her brother, plays piano, and they take taekwondo together. They do football. They do lacrosse. They do it all. No, it's amazing. That's why they go to the private school. You know, I'm proud of them. You know, they come a long way. They're really smart for their ages. You know. Yeah, that's awesome. I know, I know. Like, my little niece just, I should show you the picture of her. She just did a, a what do you call it, a, dressed up for Halloween as the, as Rosie, the girl from the poster. Oh, Rosie the Riveter, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she, that's uh, awesome. she, yeah, she, uh, oh, let's see if I find that right now. I'll send it to you. Check this out. <laughs> this is cool. This is cute, yeah. And then my nephew was a vampire or something. I forget what he was. It was great. 
It was great seeing their faces. <clears throat> Halloween. Yeah, this year I didn't even go anywhere this year for Halloween. I just hung out, watched movies. I was like, usually there's a party somewhere, you know? Yep, I wrestled on Halloween. Did you? I did. Did you dress up? Did you dress up? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <I did> not. <laughs> no. No, I mean, unless being a Davy and yes. my costume, then yes, I did. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, my God. Well, I'll find the picture later. I'll send it to you. Oh, here it is. But, uh, yeah, just we're ready for Saturday. It's going to be awesome. I'm very excited. Yeah. It should be an awesome show. Mm -hmm. And we'll pack the place, hopefully, that we always do. Yeah, fingers crossed. Hopefully everybody comes out to support. It's mm -hmm. been very well promoted, has a great card. Yeah. Um, all of us girls deserve it. Right, so. right. Yeah, definitely. But I want to say thank you. For, you have anything else you want to plug before we go call it a night? I think we're good. We covered a lot. Um, you know, uh, if you liked listening to me, feel yeah. free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram um, at Davian underscore underscore. Um, I also have a fan page on my Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash not America's Sweetheart. Uh, it should be searchable just under Davian. Um, that's the the page I I use for all things wrestling. Um, yeah, and I, I think that's it. That's that's a wrap. That's it. That, I think that's a wrap. Yeah, just come out and see everybody Saturday. Yes, come out Saturday and to all the other shows. If they're not in attendance, she'll be elsewhere. So go see her wrestle and have fun. And I'll see you on Saturday. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. Have a good night. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. You bye. too. Bye-bye. Wow, fans. That was really a fun conversation tonight with Debbie, and she's a real awesome person. She's ready to uh, show, show, show us what she's got this Saturday night at Williamstown. Uh, the women's event debuts, uh, presents a... Their new event, and uh, it's going to be it's gonna be awesome to see her take on three girls in a triple threat. Solid stack card also, so fans check it out. Like I said, there's going to be a debut show. I mean, de not a debut show, excuse me. Yeah, actually, she, yeah, de 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 Debian is making her debut at H2O at the women's event, so just be ready for her in action. And the rest of the card is solidly stacked. And also a hardcore match with Amazing Maria and also Randy West. Check that match out. And Skylar versus Maria Manic. Um, Stockade versus Primetime Amy Lee. So much more on the card. It's a solidly stacked card. So what are you doing Saturday night? Come on down and check out uh, Williamstown Wrestling Event. And come see H2O Wrestling Women's Show in Williamstown, New Jersey, Saturday night. Bell time, 8 p.m. Tickets at the door. Be there, fans. Have a good night. And t tune in tune in tomorrow night to the Deathmatch Russell Podcast. As I will have on the line another pro wrestling female. is another female and it's going to be we're going to be talking to Shauna Reed stay tuned for that and uh, on on Wednesday night stay tuned because we're going to have Adrian Mosley on and then on check it out fans and then on Monday we're going to have Hardcore Heather Owens is going to be on the podcast as well. We're going to be talking about a Battle of the Borders. 
and much, much more. So stay tuned, fans, for that. Have a good night. Tune in. You, you can find more Deathmatch Russell podcasts on the following social media. DeathmatchRussell.com. Follow on Twitter at DavidNJ32. And on Facebook, facebook.com slash DJDaveNJ32. Find me on Podcast City Network at podcastcity.net. Facebook.com slash podcastcitynetwork. Hit the like button and share. And on Twitter at podcastcitynet. You can hear Deathmatch Russell Podcast on Stitcher Radio and on iTunes.